Well, of course, the, the full impact of the oil spill has yet to be realized because it's an ongoing process. Uh, immediately, the impact, of course, is probably the most felt along the Gulf Coast, where so many of the industries are relying upon uh, seafood, relying upon the oil industry, tourism. Uh, the impact there is going to be significant. In Arkansas, uh, probably a little bit different. Uh, the impact would be more, you know, how we are affected by those industries. Uh, although, of course, we have, you know, Arkansans who will be directly affected. Of course, there are stakeholders in BP. There are people employed in those industries. Uh, the biggest impact probably really is, is in seafood. <laughs> uh, if you depend upon fresh Gulf seafood, uh, prices will be higher. Uh, seafood will be more scarce. Uh, although we import a majority of our seafood in the United States, uh, if you rely upon fresh Gulf seafood, prices will be going higher. Uh, that's, of course, the immediate impact. The long-run impact is a little bit more uncertain. It depends upon what kind of an impact this has upon oil exploration in the Gulf of Mexico, because that is an important part of our energy supply. Uh, if this happens to re reduce drilling activity in the Gulf, uh, perhaps companies believe that the cost may become prohibitive, prohibitively high because of regulation. Uh, it could impact the oil supply and prices could be higher. Uh, the immediate impact on oil prices is probably negligible because even if it's 60,000 barrels per day, which is you know, the high end of the estimate, that really is just a small fraction of the 20 million barrels per day that we consume. Uh, so the impact really is going to be on the supply side, uh, if there is one. Well, I think there are gonna be several long-term impacts. Um, you know, what we know from previous oil spills like the Exxon Valdez is that you will see exposure for quite a while, many years following. Um, some of the short-term effects that we're seeing right now are gonna really affect a lot of the populations that are within the Gulf ecosystem. Um, this is probably one of the worst possible times for this accident to have occurred um, for several reasons. Um, but mostly because many of the organisms in the Gulf are reproducing now. And so what you're going to see is a lot of the early life stages that are very sensitive to contaminants being exposed right now. Um, so that's going to affect populations for many years to come because many of the young that would contribute to the next year's population or uh, many years ahead, the reproductive populations are, are going to be affected. And so you'll see populations that are reduced in the Gulf. And that's an interesting one. That's, that's another one that really is a bit of an unknown. Uh, of course, there is a six-month moratorium on, on exploration, which means a future impact on the supply of oil. The real question, if there's going to be a major impact, is will that be continued? Will there be further regulation on oil exploration? Will it increase the cost of exploration? And if that does, that could significantly impact the supply of oil, which of course then would, would raise prices. Um, the six-month moratorium, uh, probably less of an impact and probably has already been priced into the market. The question is, where do we go from here? Complete recovery, I would say, would be 20 years or more. And it's really difficult to say, you know, we have never seen any sort of contamination from an oil spill event at this magnitude in the Gulf. And so there are conditions in the Gulf that are very unique, you know, that would make its ability to recover or how it reacts to the spill different from something like the, the Exxon Valdez spill. Um, as well as the sheer magnitude of it. It's so much larger than that one. Um, we really don't have a lot of information. There hasn't been a lot of research on the effects on ecosystems or on animals to a spill of this magnitude. So it, it's very hard to predict that, but I would say definitely on the order of years, probably five years or more for some of the short-term impacts um, to, to be you know, if you're, if you're looking at full recovery, 
it, it will be much longer than that. Uh, there are a number of things, I guess. I, I hope that firms are going to realize that as vital as Gulf oil exploration is, that viable contingency plans are necessary. Uh, I, I think they probably learned, in fact, they have learned that one the hard way, I'm sure. I hope that at the same time, the government learns and realizes that that exploration is a vital part of our energy supply and that future regulation, if there is some, won't be prohibitive because stifling that at the same time could have negative economic consequences. But with any type of pollution, either minimizing or preventing pollution is almost always less expensive than cleanup. And I, th I think obviously that's what BP is, is learning as a lesson right now from this. Um, additionally, I think they need to rethink um, their management or their regulations because much of the regulation for the deep water oil rigs is based on regulations from many years ago for shallow water drilling. And so keeping up to date and, and you know, taking into account the different conditions that can cause problems, I think is going to be a big lesson learned. That's it. Okay. That was amazing.